Hi, we are in chapter six, and this is part of the frames and machines. So this is a frame, it's, a, it's composed by a beam. This beam has three pins, one at A that is fixed to the wall. Then I have a pin, this pin holds the beam, this link over here, and the pulley, and the rope goes through that pulley, and then I have another pin here that holds the beam with the pulley and this rope. So remember that the pins are something that is three-dimensional, but we are only drawing here a plane, and you have to imagine that those elements are attached to that pin, right? Okay, so the first thing that we have to do to solve any problem is to do the free body diagrams. So if we do start with the free body diagrams, and we start with free body diagram from beam A, B, C, you will notice that we said that we have a pin at A, and we have a pin at B, and we have a pin at C. Each of those pins will be two forces, right? So therefore, I will have six unknowns. So I will draw this free body diagram at the same time that I draw the free body diagrams of the pulleys, because as you see, the pulleys are attached to the same pin, and they will transfer the force to the beam. So if I draw the free body diagram, for example, of pulley, E, which is this pulley over here, I will notice that we have the rope, which since this pulley has no friction, is an ideal pulley. I can say that the tension in the rope is the same in both sides. So I can say that the tension in the rope is the same along all the pull, all the rope because the pulleys do not have friction. And then I have the external load here that is 700 pounds. So from this free body diagram, if I apply the equations of equilibrium, I see that applying the equations of equilibrium in J, J I found that 2t is equals to 700 pounds. Therefore, T is equals to 350 pounds. So this is the first result that I found. After that, I will do the free body diagram of the next pulley, which is this one right here. C. And I notice that I have the tension of the cord that I already know is 350 pounds, and the other tension over here, which is 350 pounds. And then I have this pin over here that creates two forces, Cx and Cy. And as you see, those are the forces that by, for action and reaction, I will place over here. So that's why I wanted to draw the two free bodies diagram simultaneously, because I really want you to notice that whatever I draw in one free body diagram that is attached to the other one, I have to draw the contrary, the vectors in the opposite direction because we are applying the third Newton's law, which is action and reaction. So any, uh, any force create the exact same force, but in the other direction. So if we apply here forces in x equals to zero, we see that Cx minus that tension is equals to zero. Therefore, Cx is equals to 350 pounds. And then if we apply forces in y, we see that Cy is equals to the same thing, 350 pounds. So I was able to find these two forces. So in this free body diagram that I said that it will have six unknown, I already was able to find those two. 
So I have less unknowns for my main free body diagram. And finally, I will draw also to find the unknowns at B, I will also draw my free body diagram of pulley B, and I will use this little space that I have here because then I have to apply forces for this free body diagram, right? So I will have that my three body diagram is, again, I have two unknowns and I have my tension over here, which is 350 again, and this tension over here. And this angle, as you see, is given because they tell us that this angle over here is 60 degrees, therefore, this angle is also 60 degrees, right? So I know that this angle over here is 60 degrees. And then I have, again, two reactions, and I will draw these reactions B, Y, and to uh, contrast this reaction, we can write it B, X, either in looking to the, to, to the left or to the right. Very important is that whatever I decide, I draw the contrary in this side. So I'm going to draw them positive. So I will draw here, the contrary, B. Uh, important too that I've, I, when I analyze the point C, this tension over here is attached to the pin. So I cannot forget to draw a tension over here that we know already that there is 150. Okay, so and let's do our equations of equilibrium over here. So it will be 350 plus Bx minus 350, and then I have to multiply by the cosine of fixity that you know is one half, equals to zero. Therefore, Bx is equals to, and I have it right here, 175 pounds. And then I add forces in Y, and I get that for Y I have B, y minus the tension, which is 350, sine of 60, which is square root of 3 over 2. Equals to 0. So I was able to find by, and by is 303, 303.1. 303 okay, so I was able to find that one too. So these two are known then is 303.1 and Bx is 175. Let me check just the signs that I have everything correctly. So I actually, this number over here is negative. So this is negative over here. Okay, so now that we have those two, let's keep going with our free body diagram. As you see, I have a weightless link over here that I have to include also in my free body diagram. Since this is a weightless link and I don't have anything that is in transversal to that link, that link just generates a, a force along the link that I can call reaction BD, right? And finally, I have my, I'm going to draw them with a different color because they are external forces. So this is AX and AY. So originally, this free body diagram, as you see, had seven unknowns because it's AX, B, A, Y, B, X, and B, Y, the reaction of the link, and B, X, and B, Y, C, X, and C, Y. But with the free body diagrams of the pulleys, we were able to find four or the unknowns. So now we have only three unknowns, which are A, X, A, Y, and the reaction of the weightless link. So 
with our equations of equilibrium, we will be able to find those three reactions. So applying the equations of equilibrium to this free body diagram, we have adding forces in x. Which forces do we have in x? Ax plus bx. In this case, you see that it's negative, the arrow. So I'm going to put it here negative. And when I include my value for the, for the magnitude, I will put a negative. So at the end, this will become a positive, minus Cx. And then I have the component of this link that is also negative, Bd. And I have to decompose that in horizontal and vertical. And this angle, as you see, this is 4 by 4. So that will be the cosine of 45, which is square root of 2 over 2 and that's equals to zero. In this equation, I have two unknowns. This is unknown, and this is unknown. So I need other equations in order to be able to solve it, right? So then I add forces in y, and I have a y plus by, in this case goes in the negative direction, minus by, minus Cy plus the reaction BD sine of 45. In this case, I also have two unknowns and are different. So I have the three unknowns. So I need to apply moment respect to one of the points. So I will apply moment respect to point A and that will allow me to find this reaction because all the other reactions are already known. So I will apply moment respect to point A. And then this distance is known is 4. Remember to use the right hand rule. So the moment created by By is negative and is negative 4 times By, right? And then I have this 8, also negative times Cy, and then I have this tension over here, so it's negative 8 times 350, and then I have the moment created by this uh, reaction, but remember that only the vertical uh, uh, component produce moment because the horizontal component is along and is parallel to the distance. So the moment is positive, the distance is 4, and only the vertical component produce moment. So, and that will be equals to 0. With this equation right here, we can substitute our values for By, and we found that By is 303. 0.1 minus 8, Cy is 350 minus 8, 350, and that will be equals to, I can actually put, put that all to the other side and say that it, this is 4 or 2 RBD square root of 2. And that allows me to find RBD. I have it right here. So I will give you the result, 2,409 pounds. And then if I plug this number over here, I, was, I am able to find a y. And if I plug this number over here, I can find. So if we name this equation 1 and this equation 2 with 1, I can find a x and a x is equals to one eight eight zero pounds and with two a y is equals to negative seven hundred in this so it's this direction so positive we were able to find all the reactions in this free body diagram and the reaction along the 
link, the weightless link, and the reactions that are produced by the pulleys over the pin that are transmitted to the bin. And this is the solution of this problem.